Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Simply Off Road. Today, we got a good one for you. I'm gonna turn you back around and uh, show you what we got going on. So I'm gonna be doing some major maintenance on the clutches today. I'm gonna throw you on the GoPro. I'm gonna do all this in real time. We're gonna be comparing these uh, sliders to a new updated version from CF Moto. I haven't seen anybody talk about it yet, uh, but let me put you on the GoPro. All right, now that I got you on the GoPro, we're gonna start covering what we're gonna be doing today. So, see these part numbers? This is the first thing we're gonna cover. This is a updated kit from CF Moto. I purchased this from uh, Main Street Cycle. And there's their part number and the price, where I got it from. It's called a slider kit. And it comes with these instructions. I'm gonna hold it as close as I can so you can pause and read this. According to this document, you have three different kinds. They have they are labeled, as you can see. So the problem they're saying this causes is a creeping problem um, in high gear only. I haven't been experiencing this. I just know these items wear, and uh, is actually getting this kit with all these different sliders was the same price as just buying three. I guess you really wouldn't know what kind you were gonna get anyway, you'd probably end up getting this too. But um, anyway, that's all they are. So we have these. It essentially wants you to test fit each three because they have symbols that are like right here. Like this one's an O, when you match them up, there's two other ones just like it. And essentially wants you to try it out and see which one's best for a creeping issue. Again, I don't have it, but we'll give it a shot. That way these sliders are new. Next thing is we have our trail blocks. The price on these has come down pretty good. I bought these at my local dealership. There's your part number. And what happens with these, your weight goes in here. These weights, they go in here and this portion wears as well as this portion, but mostly this portion. I don't think mine, there's anything wrong with mine. Looking at how these are made, I'm pretty sure mine are gonna look nearly identical to them, but you'll be able to see that in this video. We'll pull mine out, lay them side by side. We'll be able to see them. But uh, we've got six new of these all right here. We got new weights, but we'll get to that in just a second. So the next thing on the maintenance portion nylon blocks here's your part number from cf moto bought these from my local dealer these go in your secondary and this is what your helix rides on in the secondary however you have it clocked it's going to ride on there so we'll be doing those all right so now we're on to the beautiful new stuff so this is a rng clutch kit as you probably know, he doesn't do stages, and that's fine. So here's my specific instructions, how he wants me to install his clutch kit. Uh, a lot of the rest of this letter is uh, kind of generic, one size fits all. It uh, recommends using uh, a new belt, uh, cleaning the belt, cleaning the sheaths, cleaning everything, How what to expect with the new uh, your new components as far as um, it's very generic. It's a uh, one size fits most and it looks like here he puts more specific instructions for your kit. So it talks about what helix I have, where to clock it to, 28 inch tires, if I want more, B2. I did email him because of what I was looking for in a clutch kit. Uh, me specifically, I, want, I didn't care about soft engagement, really don't care. I want a Can-Am, it doesn't bother me. I need the punch, I need the power. So. We have weights, we have a new primary spring. He said to go back to the factory uh, secondary spring and clock it to B1 or if you want more B2 with his SRM3 Helix. Backstory, the CF Moto currently has a stage two MSC kit on it. Uh, it's an awesome kit, absolutely nothing wrong with it. No complaints, um, I just wanted I guess more. I'm gonna save it, put it in the drawer, because you never know. I may go back to it, or I may use 
Main Street Cycle spring and play with the clocking of the secondary. I may, you know, mix the weights up or whatever, but this is a RNG Performance Clutch Kit, primary spring weights. And this is the, uh, was it, SRM3 Helix. Beautiful piece, by the way. So super excited about that. So this is what this video is gonna entail. We're gonna be installing all this stuff today. So this isn't really gonna be a really how-to. Uh, I'll give you some tips and stuff that I haven't seen on the internet uh, for Main Street Cycle or Redneck, maybe just some insights of things. Um, as far as putting your weights in, RNG and MSC do a great job of showing you how to put the weights in. So there's gonna be some times I'm gonna put you on a time lapse. I'm gonna take you off and kind of expand on what I'm doing and what, what I'm seeing. So the, uh, the time lapse is gonna start now. Well, this is interesting. I guess these are 12 gram weights. The only reason why I stopped is, uh, as you'll see, the uh, MSC weights, they're, they're solid. They don't have holes in them. Just a distinction I noticed. So right back on the time lapse. So from RNG Performance, he had, at the time that I ordered this, he had the best price on belts by a couple dollars. And I got a CF Moto OEM belt from him. It's going to go on machine as well. We're going to OEM, as that's what MSC, RNG, a lot of people recommend just going back to the OEM belt. So that's what we're going to do. So let's get back to it. block primary clutch by cv tech that's standard in all cf motos so let's take it apart and let's talk about it for a second all right first things you're going to notice get you in here close these are rtv'd in what that was for is just to minimize noise um because these these clutches are very noisy that one didn't work um but yeah we'll have to clean all this up for the new ones pretty sure they're supposed to supposed to have some kind of uh give so anyway on the back side all this is fine we can clean this up no problem these are the msc weights no they did not come rusted last year got water in the belt box and that's what we're looking at and that's the wear so let's look at all of them There's the MSC Stage 2 primary spring. Let's compare it. So, obviously we have huge difference. This is a super stiff spring. This is a softer spring. So from what I understand, RNG and MAC, they essentially have, lack of a better term, they have two different ways of achieving the same goal. MSC, this kit was a stiffer spring and it feels like, oh yeah, heavier weights. Uh, RNG is a lighter spring with lighter weights. These are definitely really heavy, man, compared to those. And let's look, let's get real close in here. Can you see the depth? Let me get you in better. Huh. This is very interesting. But anyway, look at this. It's a good opportunity to be able to see if, if any wear is even there. Looks like very minimum wear right here at the very top. Looks like it may have wore off a little bit. Doesn't really look like much. And there's no wear down here. I would almost say these are still definitely very very good but we're getting new ones anyway all right well, other than some uh belt material i don't really see anything going on here doesn't look nothing going on so 
backside there's nothing going on this discoloration and stuff is uh very normal we'll uh scotch bright it uh, i've been doing it uh just like rng says uh green scotch bright i got some laying around i got some red right there see if we can't find some green stuff i may just go back with red but um yeah let's throw you back on a time lapse and we'll uh we'll keep going All right, bring you back. We got everything cleaned up. We're going to go through and pick out, match up all of our sliders. S, four, S, four. I don't know. We'll just pick some and uh, see what it does. Wow. That's crazy. Look at this. So these just, you can hear that and see that. That's why they're silicone, but these are the, they seem like they're all the same. This is a four in this particular pack and I've got to, I've got to get it in there. Lining anything up. We just got to get them fully seated in there. Golly. I guess they're all seated in there. See, that's tight. That's super tight. There. Okay. See well those fit. Hmm. Anyway. Let's um these are the uh, S's. Yeah, these are the S's. Now I'll give you three sets because they says in the letter they've changed molds and there's differences in them and this, that, and the other. So, I guess that's really what you're looking for. All right, we're bringing you back. So, we got everything cleaned up for the most part. And there's our primary clutch. So, what we'll do now is we'll clean this stuff up one last time. The primary is ready to go. Cleaned up, ready to go. No lubricant. Sweet, let's get the other side cleaned up. Uh All right, we're back. We got the secondary apart. Let's take a look at things. So first off, MSC stage two clutch spring. Well, you know, it's their spring uh, is what you get for their stage two. You get this spring and there's a stock spring. Um, one thing that RNG touches on, I don't know if you might, you might be able to see where the paints come off uh, in some places. And here's the, original helix man that groove right there is terrible it's only on that one but anyway let's look at the wear so i don't think it's hurting anything but you there is wear obviously i think it's still good so what we're here for we're here for these and you can see they flat spotted yeah, we'll take these apart. We'll clean up the sheaths like we did on the primary. And uh, put a stock spring back in it to B1. No, just go ahead and replace these. These are the cheapest part of any wear item on the clutch kit. Just go ahead and if they start doing this, go ahead and replace them. I think they're like $8 for all of them. They're they're very inexpensive as far as these uh, wear items go. Cause all this other all right, so we're back. So that's what a new one looks like. Let me get you in close, see that wear. Anyway, let's get these off. We'll be putting these new ones on.
Make sure I'm parker neutral. This should look just like that. Jeez. 